This video will show you how to unlock the Caves and Cliffs achievement in Minecraft 1.18. Let's just get right into it. So, I'm going to be creating a new world for this. And you're going to want to set it to Peaceful, Bonus Chest On, and Show Coordinates. Now you can do this in an existing world, but I'm going to be showing how to do it from a brand new world. So, the first thing I would do is find your bonus chest. And if there's a wooden pickaxe, take it because you're going to need a wooden pickaxe for this. If there's like not a wooden pickaxe in the chest, uh, you're just going to have to craft one. So that's the first thing you need when you spawn in, is a wood pickaxe. Also, this achievement requires you to fall from the build height limit all the way down to bedrock. And for the achievement to pop, you must land on bedrock. It does not matter what level it is, like negative 61 or negative 62. It just has to, you just have to land on bedrock. And also, you need to survive. So you're going to need a water bucket to place on the bedrock to break your fall. Alright, so once you guys find your wooden pickaxe or craft it, you're then going to want to find a cave. And the first thing you're going to want to do is start mining stone for cobblestone. Because you're going to want to craft at least one stone pickaxe, maybe two. Um, also, you're going to need to make sure you have a crafting table on you. So once you guys craft your stone pickaxe, you're then going to want to go as deep as you can in the cave without dying. And go as deep as you can until you cannot go any deeper. And then once you're as deep as you can go, you then need to dig straight down until you hit bedrock. So this cave I found, this is as deep as I could go possibly. So now I'm going to start digging straight down to bedrock. You're going to need to start digging straight down like I'm doing in the video. Um, this is so you can get back out because on one side there will eventually be bedrock. Um, so once there's bedrock, you'll put the water on the bedrock. And then on the other side, you're going to need to start building back up to the surface. So once you guys hit the bottom, you're then going to need to put the water on top of the bedrock. Once you do this, you're going to go to the other side and start building back up. There are a few things you guys need to be aware of though. First, when you're destroying the blocks above you to get out, you might have gravel fall on you. So you have to be really careful. Gravel can also fall on the other side and land on top of the bedrock. So what you need to do is when you're digging up, always dig up on your side first. So you can see what blocks are on the bedrock side so you can stop gravel from falling. You also might dig into water when you're going up. If this happens, then you need to close off the water. I actually ran into some water myself while I was digging back up, so I had to close it off before I continued up. So basically you guys just keep repeating that same process, just digging up on both sides to make room uh, to fall. So uh, you can jump all the way down and also make sure no gravel falls on the bedrock side. So once you guys make it out of there, you're going to want to craft three stone shovels. And with these shovels, you are going to get six stacks of dirt blocks, which you will then use to build all the way to the height limit. And as you're building up, by the way, remember where the hole is at. Uh, so you can jump down Alright, so I've just finished getting my six stacks of dirt blocks So now I'm going to build next to the hole and I'm going now going to start building up until I reach the build height And as you're building up make sure there's like no trees blocking Where you're building up and make sure there's nothing blocking the hole Alright, so now I've built up to the building height limit, and now I'm just going to drop, and the achievement should pop. As you can see, I lived because I had the water there that I placed earlier, and I thought at first the achievement didn't pop because uh, I thought maybe you had to be like negative 62 or something uh, at a certain level. But it actually just turns out that the achievement took a little while to pop. 
but you'll see here it will pop here So as you guys can see, the achievement did pop, even though it was delayed a little bit. Um, the, this is one of the harder achievements in the game though. This took me like roughly 30 minutes to complete, and this is just on a brand new world. So honestly, that's not bad though. But uh, yeah, either way, if this helped you, make sure to drop a like. But other than that though guys, I'm out.